Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome back to this war of mine. We are back at the orphanage and our content Anya is here to bring the kids some books. Some children's stories with pictures and stuff. Hello, little lady. We got something for you. Did you find any books in your museum? Those children have lost so much. Yes. We stole them, but here they are. You brought some books. Thank you. There's a princess and dragons and dwarves. Dwarves are really funny, right? Oh, certainly are. I hope that book will cheer you up. Oh, yes. The world in those pictures, I would love to live in it. And maybe later Adam can find some time to read me those tales. Request fulfilled. How about that? Oh, look, more kids are coming down here to look at the books. I, I hope. We'll just, just sit on the floor. Hey, guys, look at all these amazing books. Yeah, go look at it. Nah, oh, that's, that's, that's freaking cute, man. I know it's like important to preserve our culture and everything, but you gotta admit that doing this would make you, I mean, your heart would just warm up, just the way it is. Your help means everything to those kids, I'm truly grateful. I'm glad to hear that. Are you doing any better? We're okay for now, but every day I wake up afraid for the fate of those kids. Who knows how long we can go before we run out of supplies. There might be some hope though, I've heard rumors. What rumors? man told me about a group of people trying to flee from here. They're using some old mining tunnels that lead outside the city. Know where to find those people? To be honest, that sounds unbelievable. Allegedly, there's a hideout somewhere near the main railway station. I would check it myself, but I can't leave the kids alone. Don't worry, I might be able to check it on for you. We got that. We'll, we'll do it. See you're feeling better, Andreas. Yes, it wouldn't be possible without your help. I'll soon be ready to go out and help Adam with the supplies again. Seems to me you really care about everyone here. They're my siblings now, and the only family I have left. I'm the oldest one too, so I'm helping as much as I can. So, you know, if anybody says, hey, why are you, you know, giving away those books, those priceless things? Look, hear me out. You know, Anya over here, she might, you know, she might have been very much into art and stuff because of her grandpa. But before all of that, she was an orphan herself. And I'm pretty sure in her character would be to do everything she could to help other orphans not feel like orphans, especially in the time of war. So I think we're keeping in character with Anya. Like, sure, there's some like real dilemma about all that stuff, especially about burning some of those books so we can, you know, have fuel enough. But I think doing it for other orphans, I think it's very much in character with her. And I think I personally would also do that okay let's open this bad boy now no wood huh we got one of those mixers that we also bought <laughs> but these meds are good that's good that's good that's good uh that would be good <clears throat> let's see uh dropping that dropping this bad boy i think we're dropping one water taking the mixer taking this bad boy taking that was pretty acceptable. So there's tiny amount of stuff still left here. Of course, no wood. We knew that there's not gonna be any wood here. Uh, there's gonna be some new places that might have wood, but later on we can come back with an axe and just destroy a lot of the stuff. So I'm content with that. But yeah, otherwise there's not much to do over here. Not much left, and that's okay. Okay. Uh, let's just quickly check this bad boy if we can stack anything up here. Uh, I think we should be... Oh, we got one sugar. Like, sugar... You're my sugar, baby, but hey. It's not really what we need, desire, or want. Go here. There should be... There should be some more components. So we're getting plenty of components, that's for sure, but... What we really need is wood. And I hope we could get just some solid wood, not just fuel from uh, those pictures we destroyed. <laughs> That'd be nice. Well... Fine, yeah, this this is acceptable. Just just gonna check if I left like two components somewhere. Because I know I left some stuff behind still. There's gonna be a lot of wood eventually. Uh don't really need the food yet. We can come back for food here later on. We still have five and five five and five at home. Perfect. Okay, let's have you run to exit. We have five vegetables and five meat at home, which which is basically ten meals for us. You know, so uh, that's uh, I'd say that's pretty solid in the long run. Anya's back. I wonder what Milena's gonna say in the morning, or what the others are gonna say. They might be mad. Uh, you know what? Let them be mad. 
like if Ruben is mad, he can go, you know, somewhere. Like she saved him. I would understand if Milena and Zoran would be mad. There's a dude outside. <clears throat> Seeing those kids reading is heartwarming. Yep. Ruben, god damn it. Oh, yeah, there's gonna be a cutscene. Gonna be talking to Milena. I guess uh excuse me, are you a soldier, sir? I who are you, son? What what are you doing in here? Oh, it's gonna be between Milena and him, huh? Okay. A Grasnian soldier in our museum. I hope this day would never come. Colonel Markov, I'm looking for the person who runs this place. I suppose that's me. Are you here to destroy our museum? The last remains of our culture that we've managed to save from you? Don't worry, I'm here to talk. Besides, if my superiors knew I was here, I'd be in as much trouble as you. And you expect me to believe you. Are you gonna say something back? Do you know what orders were issued to our troops? No, but I'm guessing that you have to destroy all traces of Visenny culture in the city. It's true. The army wants to wipe out everything of any significance to your people. Are you proud of that, Colonel? Did you come here to brag? I'm just start stating the facts. I'm a soldier and I understand the cost of war. But destroying a whole culture, the precious monuments built by generations, would you mind walking me through the exhibition? I don't feel like I have too much of a choice. Oh, but you do. There's always a choice. Well, I don't believe you, but hey. Oh, look. <laughs> look at our exhibition. It's beautiful. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, there's the light here. I still don't understand why I keep coming here. I can help you. I'm your only way out of the city. Okay. You see, my troops are stationed on the road out of the city. And I guess using it, it isn't free. Everything has a price. This one is well worth paying. So what's your price, Colonel? The Battle of Leech Swamp. You must be joking. What would you do with the most precious Visenian painting? I know people who will pay a lot of money for it. What's stopping you from just taking it from me right now? My superiors want this place burned to the ground, with all its contents. I can't just take it, I'm being watched, but if we are clever about it, we could both benefit. Interesting. The Battle of Leech Swamp, huh? It has a terrible name. But, if you really want it, man. It's like from Allo Allo, the Madonna with the big boobies. The picture of Madonna with the big boobies, or painting. As I said, there's always a choice. One painting to save all the rest. If you haven't watched that series, hello, hello, you should definitely do it. It's like, uh, it's awesome. It's fun. <laughs> Think about it. I'll see you soon. All right, buddy. Um, thanks for coming around. Checking the the last painting that actually has light in here. You know, electricity works. The military is looking for this painting. I have to hide it. Or, you know, Milena, you can trade it in. It's probably one of the possible endings for us. Trade in the picture. Or the painting, I should say. Oh, she's already hiding it. Let's see. Uh, okay, that's a lot of stuff again. Little Nika couldn't have been happier about the books she was given. One could say we should have kept those books safe in the museum like we were told to. But on the other hand, who are we saving those items for if not for the kids in it like Nika? Indeed! Learn about something that brings hope for all, for all of us. Apparently some people are trying to escape from the city. We should try to reach them. Maybe you could help evacuate kids using those tunnels. Everybody seems to be concerned after the colonel visit. Indeed, he made an offer that seemed more like blackmail than honest pre-opposition. Pre pre Whatever that is. I, I'm sorry, I don't know. <laughs> but at least he didn't come with a fire and a whole unit behind him. That's that's true. It's very true. Anya, go to bed. Uh, Ruben is hungry and slightly sick. Let's see what he says. Maybe those books should never have been taken away from the museum, but at least they land in the right hands. Kids can use them, read them. If they could for at least one moment think about something other than their losses and the tragedy, maybe giving those books away was not a bad thing at all. There's light at the end of the tunnel for us, quite literally. It's a long shot, but if you manage to find the people escaping the city, if they even exist, maybe it will be safe. After the massacre at the synagogue, I find myself shivering when I see a military uniform. That colonel guy made me anxious. I really don't know what to think about his offer, but there's something off with him, something that makes me uneasy. Uh, I'll go take the meds. And let's see, Zoran. I swore to secure and protect their heritage, not give it away. I understand those kids are in need, I'm sure those books will be used in their hands, but just can't deal with a decision that was made behind my back. I don't care about you, museum jailer. Jailer, yes. That's, that's what I said. You learn about the people in the tunnels, but if there's one thing my life has taught me is that you should never have your hopes raised too high. Crushing high hopes is incredibly painful. I felt that too many times before. 
A shady colonel paid us a visit. What brazenness to threaten and blackmail us like that? He's clearly not loyal to his command, and to me, we're nothing without loyalty. Dude, I mean, you gotta take what you're given in the war, man. It's just the way it is. Oh, look, we, we've picked up almost, almost everything over here. There's some stuff here, but everything else is kind of cleared out. Do we have any fuel? Let's go check that out. Let's go check. Oh, there's some more stuff up here. I didn't even see it. Okay. So to me, it looks like we now have a couple of possible endings, right? Uh, what? We just had the option to do that. No, no, you're the, you're the wrong person. Oh, don't don't talk to me like that. We don't have wood to secure this. What the hell, man? <sighs> That's a fucking obnoxious. You have more fuel. We do good. Uh, can we? By any chance, make that X. Make that X. We can't, can we? So we can't even save this. For fuck's sake. Uh, that's not the one we wanted, but hey. Uh, go check this. No, we can't make that. We need a lot more wood. God damn it! <laughs> we can't even save this crap over here. Because this is about to collapse. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. We have time. It could be taking a lot of stuff. So yeah, what I was trying to say is that we have more options now. Like one thing is we could do, uh, what we could do is uh, go through that tunnel and save the kids, but probably leave this and Milena behind, right? And then the other one would be fixing the car and trying to escape with uh, Milena. And then the third thing would be trading in that painting and attempting to uh, bribe our way through. So I guess that's like three endings. That's that's really kind of cool. It's at least what I think it might be. What's new? Other stuff. Help children at the orphanage. Uh, bring something from the kids. Could take more. Nah. Ross took the set of books to the orphanage. They might be better off with the kids, but we did promise to keep stuff. Adam from the orphanage told us a rumor about some people living in the tunnels. It's apparently possible to meet them in an abandonment railway station. The people they are trying to reach an old grid of tunnels that could lead them out beyond enemy lines. We should check it out. Maybe this could be a way to evacuate both the kids and our exhibits. Oh, maybe it could be a way to do it both. Maybe. In any case, I'm just hoping this does not collapse before tomorrow, but it's probably gonna do it. So we're gonna lose all of the stuff. Just because we don't have extra wood on hand. That's a bit obnoxious. It didn't give us more time, by the way. Let's secure that bad boy. Now, we don't care about this one collapsing. But the fact that we're going to lose all of that. It is annoying. You know, imagine how much fuel that is. <laughs> okay, Anya is hungry. They're all just hungry. I guess we're going to have to cook double tomorrow. That is the case, uh, but we're gonna wait for her to stop being hungry. I'm hoping maybe for a traitor to show up. We have plenty of stuff that we could give them. Like, for real, we could. If only they had wood or something. The temperature's almost perfect. Yeah, it's not good enough. If you don't stoke this up to six... Oh, you need to wait? Wow, interesting. You had to wait for that lady, huh? Stoked up, hey. We need to stock it up to six or else it's not going to be good enough. Uh, Zoran, I need you to go sleep so you can uh, guard overnight. What is she doing over here? What are you doing, lady? I don't trust you. Okay, looks like Ruben is storing the goods. Okay, he's slightly sick. I know, he's going to rest overnight, but he's on good meds tonight or today. He's sleeping. I think we're good. It's 2 p.m. I don't think anything happens after 2 p.m. Can you stoke this a bit more, or is that it? You can stoke. How much fuel do we have? Okay, that was the last fuel we had. That's that's okay then. Let's end the day. Should be all right. Okay, I think we're going to petrol station. Huge amounts of parts, lots of materials. That's what we want. She's scavenging. He's sleeping in bed. He's guarding. Petrol station. We're not taking anything with us today. And we're hoping that the goddamn place is not going to collapse before we can bring back some wood. But it's probably not going to happen. Patrol station seemed abandoned. Well, that's good. Because you never know. Look how beautiful this is. The snow and all. And now we're just grabbing all. 
but what we're really here for is wood. Wood is the most important commodity right now. More than like food and such. But also those car parts, if you can find them, I'll take them for sure. Meds? Don't mind if I do. Do I hear somebody rummaging around? Because I might. I know there can be people here. I'm pretty sure I hear somebody. Like, there's, you see, there's hiding spots and such. I don't know, man. That place is almost certainly gonna be locked. Oh, my shiny. My shiny. Look at that wood. Oh, so delicious. Is that actually... That's just shell casings, huh? Take that. We're dropping this bad boy. Dropping this bad boy. We're dropping that. We're taking... We're dropping this as well. Just gonna keep this star stashed over here. For now. And we're just gonna go for all the wood and components we can find. That's a lot of food as well. Jesus. And a lot of water. This is, this is well st stacked, man. Well stacked indeed. Oh. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Take one more of those and we're just good to go, man. Yep. Told you it's gonna be locked. Uh, don't actually run. Don't actually run. It's not the time to run yet. Oh, we're coming back here. Oh, we are definitely coming back here. There's some good loot. Some really good loot. The unfortunate part is that there can be people showing up here later on. So, you know, whatever we don't pick up today. Yeah. Might not be able to pick up next time. Uh, we're looking for another piece of wood. Probably not going to be in one of those cars. But it might be one of those car parts that we need. Are you kidding me? Holy shit! Okay, we're leaving that behind. We're leaving meds behind. We're taking an axe. We're taking that thing. <laughs> oh, dude. That's absolutely brilliant and awesome and all that kinds of stuff. We are on a roll now. Look at all that wood. Hell yeah. This is the best place ever. I'm feeling good right now. I'm feeling good. I'm still not gonna run because I had a feeling I hurt somebody. So we're just gonna go check upstairs. But look at all the stuff we can get here. Oh, oh man, we are upgrading the shit out of our museum now. Maybe. <laughs> okay, nothing here. Is anybody in here? You're not doing very good at looking, but it does seem empty. She looks up there first. Uh, there's a ladder to the roof as well. There's something on the roof over there. I don't know if you can go to that roof, actually. Uh, okay, some more good stuff. Like, really, really solid stuff. I guess the game at this point said, okay, you've destroyed many pictures. Now you get to see a place that actually has some proper loot. How about that? How about that? We also have a closed door over here, so we're gonna bring back a lockpick. A heat lamp. Oh, yeah, that's that's a useful thing. Uh, not today. We can't go up here, can we? Can we? Okay, no, she's just... Maybe? Up here? No, okay. Well, we're going home. Run to the exit. That was a good haul. And there's, like, a lot of food as well over here. If you need to. Anya's back, and Anya's got some real good stuff. Freaking awesome. Interesting enough, Milena did not confront her about stealing that book. Maybe they don't know who took it. <laughs> Which is kind of weird. What's going on over here? What's going on? Yeah, <laughs> why are you showing me this way? Now it was calm. We got some good stuff. Uh, I guess they're gonna have a talk today, huh? Looks like it. I mean, she's walking right behind you. Oh, maybe it's Zoran as well. Oh, they're cornering her. Oh, Zoran and Milena gonna be talking. Okay, let's see what they're saying. I'm leaving again. Please pass my message to the others. I need to find us a way to evacuate from here. The whole city is surrounded. Where do you want to go? Over the years, I've developed some contacts. It's a long shot, but we have to take it. In the meantime, you have to prepare everything for our departure. We'll take care of everything when you're gone. 
Please, Milena, be careful out here. Don't worry about me. We'll see each other soon. Hell yeah. All right. Anya is very hungry. Uh, I don't think we got any fuel. But we got wood to make fuel. They're all very hungry. Okay. Uh, actually, Anya, you go sleep. He is no longer very tired. Go there. Now show me what happened. Okay, that crap collapsed. So we lost a lot of stuff there, unfortunately. It's time to go... Hey, stop it. Um, actually, don't make fuel yet. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna start chopping these bad boys apart and get some fuel that way. In any case, for now, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the notification bell below if you want to see more from me. And I'll see you guys next time just as soon as he's done chopping. Alright, I'll see you next time. Go, go out.